Hello and welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel we like to talk about handbags, accessories, and all that fun stuff from the male point of view. So if that's something you're interested in, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, bear with me here while I'm working on my light. Um, as always, the hair is a mess. I had it styled and today it just windy outside and it looks... I tried to gel it to fix it and now it just looks bad. So we're just gonna roll with what we got and that's that's all there's going to be of that. So you guys get what you get. I also am wearing a Bucky shirt. One of my coworkers, who I absolutely adore, um, went to Texas and brought back a shirt for me. So it was really nice of her to think of me. So shout out to you and you know who you are. So before we get started with the video, I do want to do my bag of the week. And that is my Speedy 30 Bandolier. Love her. Can't live without her. So today's video is called Twice as Nice, Double the Trouble. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but something like that, because this is a video where I go over duplicates that I have. Um, a lot of people have probably seen me open bags that are duplicates. I talk about some bags that I have that are all the same, maybe different colors or variations or sizes. So I'd like to kind of go over those because I know people always probably wonder, why do you buy two of something? Anyway, that's what today's video is about. I'm going to go over my duplicates from small other goods to big handbags and I'm uh, going to kind of explain why I got them, all the fun stuff. Uh, a few of them I have a little bit more detail than the others, uh, price, when I got it, etc. Um, some of them I don't have all the information, so I'll kind of guess on it. So sit down, grab a drink, and let's get into it with the smallest duplicate. And it is my Coach, I don't know, micro wallet, zippy coin holder. Um, it's a very similar design to the full length wallets, just about half the size, super thin, full three quarter zip. They open to an accordion style. There's a few card slots with two card slots, one on each side, a center divider that is divided all the way down. So nothing spills over into the other side. Um, I have a black one. I use it for coins typically, or if I'm carrying a really small bag, I'll carry these as my wallet. I also have it in this lime green color with gold accents. Um, it has a brown interior, same configuration. This one's a lot more worn. My spouse actually used this as a wallet for a while. And this one I bought on my own. So I have two of these. I probably paid less than 40 bucks for each. Next on the subject of wallet is the medium zippy wallet. I have black, this um, cream uh, khaki CC coated canvas with white leather trim. And then I have my, I think it's called Berry Red or Strawberry. Um, it's the red wallet that I purchased for my Louboutin bags. Um, inside each varies in color. And a lot of card slots, a lot of different pockets. You even have a billfold here. These wallets are my favorite. It holds the same amount of cards and junk that my full-size wallets hold at a much smaller profile. So I love these for bags that aren't quite as big. Um, I carry these with all of my Speedy 25s. Um, I carry them with my smaller coach bags like my Rogue and my Tate. Um, I even carry this one with my Prada bag, my Satchel, because it's a very similar leather and it's gold. <clears throat> so really love these. Um, this one, I think I paid about 80 for this one. This one, I purchased this in a dark brown for about 50 on Black Friday. I have a video on that. I have sold the brown one because my Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet replaced it, but I still have this for my Azure piece. And then the red one, I think I paid about $60 on clearance. Next up, we have the Coach Full Zips. So these are the big ones I told you about, and this these hold the same amount of information and cards as the medium. Uh, one is this really cool color block, it's navy blue, the black CC canvas, and an orange zipper and orange zipper pull. Whereas this one is the plaid, it's all black and gray, and it has the gunmetal pull. Love these very much. I also had a CC one, but I've sold it because I have this CC one. So um, the inside of them are identical. You have card slots on both sides, money pockets on the very back, little open space, and then a coin zipper slot. And the coach zippers are really cool because they have a mechanism that kind of helps 
keep it up or down so it doesn't flop around. This one I think I paid about 75 for at the actual store, the uh, outlet. And this I actually purchased from a local discount store for $30. Next up, I have my Walmart wallets. Um, I absolutely love this wallet. I purchased it originally for my Chanel. I don't carry it with that. I actually carry it with my Fendi because the Boston bag, the leather straps are kind of crinkled. If I ever bought like a Chanel reissue, I would totally rock this with it. Um, I do carry this when I, um, if we go somewhere where I don't want to take a full bag, I'll just put a few cards and I can even slip like a really thin uh, hand sanitizer like from Bath and Body in here and maybe even my key fob. So this is kind of like a clutch for me. They also have back pockets, so I do carry it like a clutch. Um, the cream one I haven't shown you. I recently purchased it on clearance for $7. I think I paid like nine for the black one. Um, the only issue I have is the black one, and I think I brought this up in a video. Um, some of these card slots are not actually big enough. They're kind of stone funky, so they can't fit cards. So definitely not the best quality, but for what I want them for, they are perfect, and I got both of them for under $20. Next up is my biggest collection. It's my Coach Corner Zips. And I also have two more that aren't out here, so I'll throw those up. One is a large fabric, and the other is my Basquiat Times Coach Outlet Collection. Um, they're hanging in my closet, so I don't wanna go grab them. Um, they're kinda hard to get to. So here's a picture of them. I also have it in navy blue with gold. I have my Pride Collection with the metal gold stamp. I have another pebbled black leather Coach Pride one. This one's my favorite, it's really soft and supple. I have the horse and carriage canvas with the metal. I really wanted something of the horse and carriage, so I'm glad I picked this up because you don't have a lot in it anymore. I have a just gray and silver. I have my black CC canvas with the leather strip. I uh, love this one, uses all my black and silver bags. I have a holiday collection one. Sometimes I'll carry this with my Louis Vuitton bags. Um, I actually haven't carried it that often, but I thought it was really cute. And all of these I paid no more than $30 each for. And then I have my favorite, which is the mustard one. And then the mustard one's the easiest one to show the inside of. It has a few card slots here, open space. That's just some trash. Um, it's just lined in a thick canvas fabric, so absolutely love these. So next is my what I call my smallest bags. These could also be SLGs, I guess. One is my Coach Nolita 15 in this army green color. It can be carried as a wristlet or a little top handle bag, or if you're a little like toddler, over the shoulder. Comes with a mini Coach hang tag. Um, the inside, I have them stuffed. But they are the same configuration as my corners of pouches, a few card slots, and then an open area. And then I have the Nolita 19 or 18, I forget the size, but it's the black material, uh, leather, pebbled, gold hardware, same configuration, same accessories. This one, I, I don't use it very often, but it's a little bit more functional than the really small one. I think I paid probably 60 for this one and probably about 70 for this one. Next up are my Coach Tate Carryall. I believe these are 29s. Um, I have the black gloved hand leather with the contrasting, sorry, I just hit my cabinet, with the contrast stitching. And then I have the color block with the orange and the maroon or ox blood color that I've actually never used. The tags are still attached. Yep. You can see the little plastic thing in there. I have it tucked inside. Um, this one I got from the Reserve on the outlet. This is a retail bag. I think I paid about $260 for this one. This one I pre-ordered when they first came out from the retail line, and I paid the full price of about $600. I love these, but I don't use them as much as I want. I have contemplated selling this one because it's brand new, never used, in excellent condition. This one has been used and didn't come in the best of condition. I said it before, this leather has veining, so it looks like it's wrinkled in a few spots, but it's just the veining of the leather. So this one I'm not going to sell because I think it would be hard because it doesn't photograph well, even though it is a beautiful bag. And I've said all along, this compares to me like an Hermes Kelly or a Birkin that's really old and well-worn and just absolutely beautiful. So this one is my version of a Kelly. 
and this one also is but it's brand new it has no wear absolutely nothing so i'm not really sure but i do love these very very much okay so now i'm getting into the luxury items and i wrote down some information on these because these are a little bit more expensive and um fun so i have a little list here you'll probably see me looking down at so these are my prada satchels i don't know the exact name of them each one i purchased was listed as something else so i just called them prada satchels and i have the navy blue and i have the black both with gold hardware absolutely love these bowling ball shape speedy style bags full grained leather absolutely beautiful um, I'll start with the blue one. So the blue one I purchased in February of 2021 and I paid about $1,005 for this on Fashion File. It was listed as excellent. It comes with a clochette, a crossbody or shoulder strap, and the dust bag. And I absolutely love it. The condition on this is really, really well. This one's a lot more structured. It's a lot more firm still. I did carry this a lot when I first got it, so it has slouched a little bit, but um, I love it. This one I paid $525 for on Fashion File in October of 2021. And it was listed in very good condition and also came with all the accessories, strap, dust bag, and clochette. It is a little bit more worn. The handle, the glazing, I don't know if it's gonna photograph. There are some cracks in the glazing. The leather is not cracked. It's just the, the rubberized glazing they put on the end. I um, haven't had any problems with it. This one, when I received it, which I have an unboxing on my vid channel, of this bag so you can look back and see. I knew the condition was going to be a little bit worse because it was half the price, right? But you know, it came with all the same accessories. But I was able to put a speedy organizer in this bag. And I'm going to do a video on this. Um, it's stuff for storage, but you'll see the tan color thing. That's a speedy 30 organizer. And I keep that in this bag all the time. And it makes it sit up. It holds its shape. It doesn't slouch any more than the blue one. So at a glance, these look very similar. So absolutely love these bags, would never get rid of them. Don't see myself purchasing more because I can't really think of a color combination that I would like, nor have I really seen any additional colors. I believe I saw a taupe one once, but I don't like taupe bags because they get messy. Absolutely love these, would never get rid of them. There's not a lot of drawbacks twice as nice. The second to last set that I have is obviously, and everyone knew this was coming, my Speedy collection. So this is my Speedy 30 bandolier. Purchased this from the website, I believe it was 2020. Uh, it has the red interior. Purchased this brand new from Louis Vuitton in 2020. I think I paid the full price at the time was about 16, 1700. Then I purchased the trifecta, which is my 25s, which are my favorite size. My vintage 1993 Speedy 25 in monogram. Absolutely love this bag. I don't use it very often because I'm very afraid to damage it because it's in really good shape for being 30 years old. Same age as me. So I try to be very careful. I'm actually kind of on the hunt unofficially for one under $500. I want it to be worn. I want it to be dirty looking. I want to not have to worry about it. So I am looking for one of those because this bad boy does not leave the closet very often. So I do love it though. I think I paid $8.75 for this one, which I felt was a little bit high for the age, but when you factor in the condition and the fact that whoever owned it did replace this pull that I stained, um, I thought this was a great deal and it's a birth year bag that doesn't happen very often so absolutely love this bag she is my pride and joy diva her and my and chanel are the three things well and my husband the four things that i value very much in this world after that and you've all seen the video of this i purchased my louis vuitton speed 25 in the azure print it does have a little bit of a defect on one of the plaids uh, the plaid prints. Um, I knew that when I bought it. I have it super stuffed because it was also squashed and I think it's starting to kind of get its shape finally. But as you can see by the vachetta, 
This bag has not been used very often. I think whoever owned it shoved it in a closet, which is why it was a little bit creased. Um, but absolutely love this bag. Purchased from Fashion File, I believe about $1,200. Um, it did come with the box and uh, a little bit of the paperwork that you get from Louis Vuitton and the original dust bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's also the old style box. I think this bag is from like 2014. Um, so I absolutely love this too. Don't carry it as often as I thought I would, but I do love it. And third in this color, fourth in this collection is my Speedy 25 and a bin. I absolutely love this bag. This is my hands down my favorite bag. Perfect size. Everyone knows I love the Abin the most. I also like the Azure. The Damier is my favorite because it's not as in your face as the monogram. I do love me a monogram moment, but absolutely love this bag. I purchased this brand new. I think I paid with tax. It was like $16.67 or something weird like that. Um, I had to kind of scout the world for this, but I was able to get my hands on it and I absolutely love this bag. So the last bag duo that I have is one of my most recent unboxings, and that is my Christian Louboutin East West Cabada. I have it in the black color with the gunmetal silverish studs, and I also have it now in this saddle brown color. And I'm gonna throw pictures up because they're put up high on a higher shelf in my closet, and they're kind of a pain to get back up there because I'm very particular, and I have to get on a ladder, make sure it's not touching the wall, make sure it's not scratched. I'm a little bit OCD, so getting stuff on that top shelf in my closet's a pain. So I don't pull it down unless I'm going to carry it. So I'll just have pictures. I bought the original, which was the black one. Um, let's see, I have notes for this. I purchased the black one for $12.50 uh, back in January of 2021 from Fashion File. And it was listed as excellent condition. And it came with a dust bag and the removable pouch. Um, absolutely love that bag very much. That bag is in excellent condition. The brown one I purchased February of 2023, so two years later, and uh, it was listed as very good, and it came with the dust bag in the pouch as well, and it was $950. Now, when I unboxed that, there wasn't anything visible that I could see. However, upon carrying the bag and getting a little bit more visual, there are a few flaws on the exterior, nothing crazy, everything you would expect, because you have a lighter color leather bag. There's just a few nicks in the finish on the leather, um, they blend really well, so it's very not noticeable. For $950, you cannot go wrong. That is an absolutely beautiful bag. I love the Kabata totes because they're full leather bags. They have a sturdy base that I can set on the ground. I don't have to worry about because of the rubberized sole. And they're just beautiful, and they're a great size. And they're demure, meaning they're just leather. They're solid color. But inside they have that pop of red, on the bottom they have that pop of red, and then they have the studs. So it's a mix of casual and fun in one package, and I love that. So would I buy another one of those? Yes. I really want the small East West Cabada in the gray color. And I'll throw another picture of it up here. It's also in my unboxing video. I've shown this. Yota Style has it, and I don't know what size she has it in, but I want it. I really want it in the small. I don't know if they made it in the small. I think they did. So if that one ever comes available, I am purchasing it. No questions asked. All right. So that is the video that brings us to the end. That is all my duplicates and a little bit about them and why and what I think. My cat is at the door. I'm going to go grab her so she can come say hello. It's okay. All right. We've turned the light off so she's not afraid. Say hi, Diva. Say hi, world. This is my little girl. She's growing up, isn't she? You're growing up. I love you. <sighs> well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And say hello to my little girl here. We will see you on the next video. Have a great week.